Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the stream. I hope you guys are having a good day and a good night so far. And thanks for coming to the, through the stream earlier. But we're going to jump right into Fallout 4. And last time we spent quite a bit of time. I think we spent like an hour and a half, almost two hours, uh, just building up our settlement at uh sanctuary hills so yeah uh let's do a quick little recap look at this bug kind of cool you can invert the uh the color to make it green like that by pressing x so a little bit of knowledge for you big ass fly though <laughs> These load screens aren't normally this long, so that's all right, though. You see all the details in this. Uh... There we go. <laughs> all right. So, like I said before, we we put up walls all around and pretty much we just like barricaded ourselves all metal walls. It's not like they can come by and blow up the walls or whatever. And so. <laughs> And for some reason, I can't attach, like, a sectional wall to, like, this little end piece, because I would have done it for right here. I mean, I could make a wall from here, go to there, to make it look a little bit better. But, actually, let's try that. Let's see if we can't... See if we can't make it look, look a little bit more presentable. There we go. We go structures, metal, walls, and we gotta go all the way down. There. Maybe we can make it look a little. little. No, nah, we can't. We, we can't connect it, and obviously we can't have it like that. So we're gonna back it on up. Now we can't. We're gonna try and turn the angle inside more. Because if we can angle it to the house, then obviously they can't get behind. There we go. So. Okay, so they can't get behind, but we can. Oh, nope, we can't, because it's gonna it's gonna hit the uh, this little piece right here of the house. So we're kind of stuck with it. But I mean, once we uh, hmm. yeah, we're, it's all right for now. There's no point in trying to like fuss with it, because eventually we're gonna take down like a part of this wall and make an entrance like this over here that we did. But I just need a way more supplies to make um more defenses because this is this is it so far we got one little turret and one little stick like little guard post but this is this is it like it goes all the way around and we'll look we'll, we'll show you guys the farm area real quick get out of my way dog meat that's our old house right there so this is our farmland area there's tomatoes over here there's a bunch of melons and whatnot and these wires over here here we can we can open it up for you so you just click on it and we just press b and it snaps right back but these wires go all the way down to our water supply down here so it's not too too bad now i've seen people like build the wall their walls all the way out to here and like all literally all around it and this is the only entrance that you can get in. They'll have like huge guard towers with machine guns and whatnot. But I don't really see people getting a... Like, this settlement doesn't really get attacked that much. So we're going to head off to Diamond City. We'll get a look at our... Uh... Alright, so... Mm... Yeah, we got to go to Diamond City, so we'll go there first. Because I was, I was thinking about doing some of the uh, Minutemen quest line, but that's okay. So this is Red Rocket. We can actually scrap... Uh, hold up. Yeah, we can scrap all this stuff right here. Because we, we actually... Okay, so not yet. We have, Okay, yeah, we can do it. Okay, so we can scrap all this stuff and just carry it over to that other settlement, which could be useful. 
So I don't I can't remember how much good if there's any good stuff in here really. But obviously we can scrap all this stuff. We have this ham radio, but it's not really you can't really use it. But yeah, we, this used to be like one of my main settlements. Like I didn't really build up Sanctuary Hills. I told them all to come down here. And I built like a giant wall all the way around. And it, it worked out pretty good. But we're going to continue going down. So we'll pull up the map and we'll show our way to Diamond City. So Diamond City's way down here. Right, so we have quite a journey ahead of us. So... Let's just uh, sit back and relax and uh, see if we come across any raiders or any any bad guys to kill. Any bugs, monsters, that type of stuff. Let's see what a... Uh, tell me the pistol. Here, we'll pull out this. Our bolt action rifle. <laughs> this does a little bit more damage. We'll turn on our light. So we can actually see stuff. Actually, down here, there's a lot of good stuff, so we might take a little detour right now. <laughs> this is where the Death Claw came out of in the beginning parts. Okay, I can't remember. I think there's a couple of like, bugs around here, but I can't remember if there's any like bad guys. So, check the desk with some dog tags, filing cabinets, ashtray, hairbrush. All this stuff could be used as materials to build and whatnot. Okay. Let's come in here. Oop. Nope. Okay. I was going to say we got a murloc right there. Got that. Short pipe revolver. Yeah, nothing too crazy down here. Okay. And to turn on your Pip Boy light, all you gotta do is hold B. You just hold B and it turns on, it turns off. So oh, right in the face. So we'll just collect all these mole rat stuffs. Of course we can't. Get at me, man. Yeah, we can't climb down there. Be kind of cool, but... Okay, so there's nothing really... No more animals, I think, or creatures down here, I don't think. But we are going to go exploring... We got in here. We have some Rataway, a tomato. We got a beer bottle. We'll take that. And what do you got, sir? You have sugar bombs and a wooden spoon. <laughs> okay, so no. I thought I heard a little bug come crawling up. Okay, so there is somebody out there. What's that? That sounds big. Gotta use a stem pack on dog meat, man. That, that bug can't come in here, so... Maybe he'll come back around and we can kill him some more. Okay. Sorry, I had to send a text message. Short hunting rifle. There we go. That's what we need right there. We need a hunting rifle. So we'll take this hunting rifle right here. And we're going to deck it out too. Wherever the bug is.
I'm about to say, it's not going to let me attack. Really? Kill that little thing, dog meat. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we got some duct tape. We got a lighter. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go exploring some more. I don't know. Oh, there he is. I was gonna say I don't know where he ran off to. Try to hit him in the face if we can. And oh, last shot. Pew. Good shit. All right, we got some. Uh, we have a raider down here. Pipe pistol. All right. All right. Vault Tech lunchbox. Oh, sloth toy. I think that's what I said. Can't remember if there's a way to get over here. I think we just gotta time it. No. <laughs> yeah, no. There's no way to get up there, so. Well, yeah, no. I don't think there's a way to get up there. So, I think that's everything for down here, so we. Whoop. Spoke too soon. Oop, let's try not to break. There we go. We got it. Got it. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> so there's a random, random dead person down here. Of course, that's boarded up. So yeah, I think that's everything for down here. So let's head back up to get to Diamond City. That's just a nice little detour. You got some good stuff down there too. Nothing too too crazy. I was about to say, where are we? Uh, we're in a rad storm right now, so every time the lightning hits, we get radiation damage. <laughs> it's annoying, but it happens. So, like sometimes we'll get normal storms and then sometimes we'll get radiation storms. It's just part of the game. We got uh, take all these meds. Take the caps. I like caps. So sounds like we got a little bug in here. Maybe. So this place is pretty much empty, man. I don't think I yeah, we can't jump up there like that. See if there's anything around here? Nope. Anything out here? Nope. Alright. Let's get going. Yeah, so Ooh, we got Nuka Cola. I'll take it. Uh just exploring right now. Nothing nothing crazy. A lot of these houses you can't get into. There used to be a glitch back when the game first came out. Like, say this house was boarded up. Like, you can't get inside, right? So the door's boarded up. But the window would be open, and there'd be a couch on the inside, right? You could just, like, click on the couch, and it would, like, warp you inside to sit you down. And so you can explore inside the house. And, then, and if you wanted to get out, all you had to do was just leave. Like, you fast travel somewhere. But eventually they patched that, because you can get into a lot of houses that way. But we're going to come talk to these people if they're still alive. I, there, there used to be people down here. There was like three or four people not too long ago, but alright. Oh, there's some stuffs over here. Oh, never mind. They all got killed. That sucks. So, we'll just take all their stuff, and they're not going to need it. <laughs> Yep, okay. Anything there? Nope, nothing in there. Alright, so. There's a little diner just in front of us. Not not too far. Uh, if you just, like, save the, the owner of the diner, she becomes like a vendor to you. 
or if you side with the uh, with the guy that's trying to take over the diner, he'll sell you chems and stuff like that. It's, I'd rather have like a, a general good store than Ooh, blow fire. Shit, missed. Trying to hit me? Take that. <laughs> All right. Where is said diner? Because this is the car drive-through. Oh, the diner's just over there. Yeah. So this this is a spot that you can uh you can take over once you clear all the bad guys out. You can uh you can take it over and you can build a base here. Which is kind of bad, a bad spot to build a base because nice. right there in the middle is like super radioactive. It's like really freaking bad. Ah, mole rat, man. But yeah, we got some stuff in here I'll take. Take the pipe branch, I'll take that. You can keep the cement. And pop before he hits me, thank you. Ow. I'm about to say, what's pushing me? Oh, we only have four bullets left? Ah, oh, shit. I'll try to waddle away. Come back here. <laughs> yeah, that middle part is like super radioactive. So. There's some stuff back here, so we can, we can check it out real quick. Like, in, in Fallout or Skyrim, I say I want to go to one destination. I'm just like, oh, what's this over here? What's that over there? Let's do this real quick. <laughs> we got a gas canister. can't remember this bad guy's in here. There we go. That's it. That's it. Just trying to... Okay, no, no bad guys in here. But we do have some Nuka Cola. We got ammunition. We got nothing in there. Okay. We got Fusion Core. It's random. Right away. Take all this junk. Nothing in there, nothing in the cabinet. I think there's a little spot right behind here. Yeah. That's random. Have a little baby vodka. <laughs> Alright. There's some stuff on the ground here. More Nuka Cola. I'll take the machete, why not? Uh, sunglasses. Meh, we'll pass. Okay, let's head off to that diner real quick. Yeah, the diner's right there, you can see it. There's a there's a couple mods out there that like give like like turns all the grass that you see into green grass and like everything's back to normal we almost. Here we go. He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Best when that guy's gonna involve me. That's it. You're dead. You crossed the wall. <coughs> Ow. I'll hurry up and reload. Got him. Alright, so we'll just take all his stuff. Alright, sounds good. We gotta heal up real quick, too. Let me drink some water. Alright. So we'll come talk to her. I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now. If you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Hell yeah. Sure. Let's take a look. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. No, I'm sure it's not, but that's okay. 
Hmm. You could take the machete. We don't need that. We're gonna scrap everything anyway, so it's like we're, we gotta sell all the aid stuff to her. Mama Murphy needs a jet, so we'll leave that. So that we'll keep the Nuka Cola because that stuff's good for us. Okay, so we'll see what she's got to offer. General Chow's Revenge is just a giant sword. Well, not really a giant sword, but it's a sword. Then suppressed bolt. Uh, short. We already have one. Oh, uh, we can. We do ammo. Uh, we do need 308 rounds. Okay. Sounds good. So that's what I pretty much do. I just like trade ammo with all the vendors and whatnot. Once I, once I start getting like a lot of ammo because it doesn't weigh a lot. So uh, I'm just going to. All right, we're done here. So we got 308 ammo. Which is what this is. So let's go ahead and get out of here. So yeah, there's a there's a couple different mods out there. Like one of them is like better ragdoll effects for like dead bodies and whatnot. Then you got one that's better blood textures. I I have all three of those downloaded. But there's somebody in here. But yeah, I don't. I have them downloaded, but I don't have them like equipped or how you want to say it. What's this person doing? <clears throat> oh boy, you may want to keep your distance. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, I'm not worried about that. It's just well. I think I ate a bad can of meat. Oh. Okay. Maybe it was three cans. Jesus, it was dude. Tasty at first, but now it's got my guts all in a twist. And well, you can probably smell it from there. Long neck Lukowski's canned meat, my ass. Long neck Lukowski's canned poison, more like it. Here, have the rest of it. I'm never touching the stuff again as long as I live. Why would I want it? Assuming I live through the day. Ugh. And if you happen to see that Lukowski, tell him I hope he dies in a goddamn fire. Ugh. God. Sorry. Probably better if you get going. If it's anything like last time, it's about to get kind of messy. That's nasty. Why are you just sitting down in this place, man? <laughs> All right, let's get going. So, like I said, we're headed to Diamond City. I'm probably stopping along the way. <laughs> Got some random barriers in here. All right, nothing. Oh, we got some dogs over there, but we don't have to worry about them. So this is like one of the big highways into Boston. I can't remember which one's I-35, or not 35, not I-95. Because I'm from Connecticut, and obviously I, li I live like right off of 95. All you gotta do is just take that north, and about an hour and a half you'll be into Boston. <laughs> This is a car yard, or junkyard, being attacked by a bunch of different freaking animals. <laughs> Mole rats, if not mistaken.
Damn dog meat. Alright. Get out of my way, dog meat. Oh my god, dude, get out of my way. So super radiation right here. Won't be able to pick this. You can't pick the lock. Child of Adam. Okay, so let's get that. Let's get out of there. Let's see, you got that, dog meat? Oh, shit. Corks. There's nothing in here. So, uh, nothing in these filing cabinets. Got some psycho right there. More drugs. So yeah, that's just a junkyard right here. So rude. Oh shit, there's a little trap wire bomb right there. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't feel like starting the uh, Brotherhood of Steel quest line. Maybe later. Alright. Here's a nice little spot right here. If you want, like, it's like an entire farm just run by robots. So, that's that spot. There's one second. Hmm. Try to think if there's any any bad guys around. Oh yeah, like this is, I think this is like a bus stop or something like that. Oh, body pun, give me that. It's a bunch of skeletons and whatnot. Oh, there's a little food station. Wow, A for effort. Hmm. I don't know where the food comes out. It comes out right there. Okay, but yeah. Alright, so let's just keep on walking. We got these weird ass looking birds. <laughs> it was worth it. Continue on our little journey. Not really seeing no bad guys, so it looks like we're look we're, we're pretty good right now. And this is a water treatment plant. No, it's a brewery. Can't really remember. So we'll just keep on going. Diamond City's just over there. We can put good progress. So there's a cool little story about this cave. Uh, it doesn't happen just yet, but a spacecraft, a UFO crashes, like just over these rocks, over next to those trees, and like you'll see like green goo on the ground as alien blood, and you'll go in there. And no matter what you do, the alien attacks you. And so you got to kill the alien, and then you get his, uh, his like, alien blaster. And you can, like, soup it up. And it's, like, awesome. And there's a little Easter egg on this boat right here. There's a... It's supposed to be, like, a throwback to Jaws. Because it's, like, a dolphin. That's supposed to act like a, a shark. So... That was a, a neat little tidbit to Jaws. We got a random little house right here. There's a person in a bathtub with a straw pillow. What the heck? I think I hear like something crawling around. 
Okay. Oh. Oh, we got some raiders up ahead. Yep. Raiders are attacking somebody. I don't know who the raiders are attacking, but Actually, let's switch pistols real quick because there's a comfort grip calibrated. I'll take that. There we go. So we got scavenger. It was like scavengers versus raiders or something like that. No beef, my bad. Take that melon off your leg, or off your body. I'm gonna take that pipe pistol too. Come back here. Good job. I think it was just raiders versus scavengers. Now. Right in the face. Yep, just like that. Alright, good job. Uh, yep, now you die. Take your sweet roll. Alright. Uh, Kidoki. So, let's keep going. I don't think there's anything in this diner. Yeah, no. Oh, we're almost there. We just gotta go through the town, or the city. A uh, cool little trick, if you shoot these cars enough, they'll catch on fire, and then they'll explode. And it'll be like a tiny little nuclear blast. Okay. Somebody's attacking somebody, but there's a little general store right here. We got wine. Okay. Oh, it's starting to rain. Okay. No, oh, no, there's still people attacking somebody. Oh, I don't want to fuck with a super mutant right now. Let's just, uh... Let's just go around. Shit! Oh my god. Okay, so there's a lot of super mutants around here. When we hear that beeping noise, that's a uh, super mutant carrying a mini nuke. Well, we're just gonna go. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> like I said, it was just a, a mini nuke that goes off. Yeah, we don't. We're not high enough level to mess with these super mutants. Okay. Oh, we're almost here. Well, you could take a couple of pop shots at him, but... I don't know what the hell that little teleport move that you... Okay, there she is. Fen Street Sewer, okay. Alright, we're here. We'll just try to heal up just a bit. So this is Diamond City. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh! You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just <laughs> lock me out. You sure? I can Pretty work sure you can. All day, Danny. Open up. You. 
You want into Diamond City, right? Uh. Just traveling through. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? <laughs> Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. <laughs> Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <sighs> Big ass door. So pretty much, this is Fenway Sounds Park. good. Let's go. It complete with the green mile and all that. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Mm. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. <laughs> you look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Mm-hmm. Sounds great. I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah. Greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Uh, let's see. Trying missing person. To find some, trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well... I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that come through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Mm-hmm. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy oh, yeah. your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From <laughs> now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Hmm. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Interesting. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. <laughs> right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Why? Hey, <laughs> it's brought you into town anyway. Be good to note it down in the logs. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My boy, Drink Sean. your water, guys. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames. Institute? Uh-uh. 
how about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Hey, I don't take bribes, okay? No. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. Uh, you're useless to me then. The Institute? What's that? Ah, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. I'll ask somewhere good. else then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? I know who to talk to. You just won't help me. So, let's go into Fenway Park. So we're now level 7. <clears throat> A lot of feral ghouls. Alright. So here we are. Let's level up real quick. See um see what stat we're gonna use. So we can get locksmith upgraded. I think we need local leader here shortly. Night person never hurt nobody. Um, idiot savant is always nice. But, uh, hmm. Find more animation. I think we need scrapper, wherever that one is. Where's. Oh, it's right here. Yep, scrapper. Okay. So we get more, more materials from stuff. So. So this is Fenway Park. Kinda, obviously it's worn down from the bombs hitting and all that good stuff. So, but this is the main city. The lights practically still work. Hey, kiddo, how are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Hmm. Ah, uh, you've been saying that for weeks, and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <laughs> Alright then. Hey, pal. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The mm. Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better eat up before they grab you, too. Right. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City, anyway? The synthetic truth added. I'm looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? Be quiet, Zoe. <laughs> I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. <sighs> Not always. No but where is it? Attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not I'll do it. anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. Thanks. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the institute's out there, newcomer. Watch the <laughs> back. You got it. There's the, the newspaper was. stuff. Alright, so a neat little is Easter egg. Is that pushing me, freaking eyeball? So you see, like, home plate right here? You, like, step on it. Right? And uh, we run to first base, which is just over here. Can't believe you need that food. Only one thing so here's first base. And then we step on this. And we gotta step on second base. Which is just over here. So here's second base. And then we step on third base, just over here. So here's third base. Right, so we step on third base and then we run back to home plate. 
And it unlocks the achievement. Oh, there it is. Well, I already unlocked it, so but that that's what um that's what you do to unlock one of the achievements in the game. Road to freedom. Mm-hmm. Hey, you're the new guy, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm the that's new guy. me. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. I'll take sure a look. thing. Sure. Feel free to test the grips. I know you have a big boy shoots an additional projectile. That is, it's like a a mini nuke shooter. <laughs> it's always good. Uh, glow sighted hardened submachine gun. That's nice. Old faithful does double damage if the targets have full health. Hmm. Sledgehammer. Yeah, that's pretty much it from him. Protection for sale. Hand pulled pieces. You? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Keep calm. I'm standing still. That's exactly what a synth would say. <laughs> I don't know. Are you really uh, human? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. Okay. We can do business, but no funny stuff. Let's see sure. what you have. A bit of everything. Mm-hmm. We do have weapons, but I don't think any good one yet, no. Wastelander, chest piece. You have one plus one agility and one plus one perception. That's it for that. You got a bunch of aids. You got some bobby pins, some junk. Ammo, mostly. But, so... What's uh home plate? I think that's one of the houses we can get. Home no oh, they're all. I, <laughs> I know there's one house that we can get. Right here for you. Yeah, I don't want cams. Random ass doctor. Uh, let's go talk to Nick Valentine real quick. Valentine Detective, de well, I can't even speak right. Detective Agency, jeez. Might be helpful to speak. <laughs> Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Who are you talking to? Something wrong. Oh, Nick. Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. Mm -hmm. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but... He just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Sure. I'll find oh. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat get up. Please hurry. All right. Oh. So we're going to go run to uh, Mama Murphy real quick to give her this jet. And she'll she'll use it for her sight, and she'll tell us something about uh, finding Nick. So let's head uh, back to sanctuary. Quad rocket launcher. <laughs> Crazy looking device. Bing, bing. <laughs> All right, so talk to Mama Murphy real quick, wherever she may be. Yeah. She's a she's a trader, if not mistaken. Hey there. So what's your story? Looking to trade, rob me, or just ask directions to Diamond City? Hmm. Let's see what you've got. Oh, I have a little bit of everything. She does too. So, but we don't need none of her stuff. 
See if we can't find Mama Murphy. Hmm. Mama Murphy. <laughs> Looks like we got a radiation storm coming in. Yep. Where is Mama Murphy? I don't think she should be laying down. Hmm. Where are you? Oh, there's her cow. Carries her stuff. There's Preston. Uh, what the hell happened here? Rat Rush got toasted. Uh, take care uh, of your gun. Hmm. I don't know where Mama Murphy is. Hey, do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. Sure. We'd run into you sooner. Don't mention it. You guys have been through hell, huh? You have no idea. In these past few months, we've lost everything. My son, he's... He's gone. I understand how you feel. I... lost someone, too. But you and I... we're still here, right? Mm-hmm. We have to go on. For them. Of course. Well, let's find Mama Murphy, wherever the hell she may be. She's hiding on us. Okay. Let's dump off all her junk. There she is. I right hear <laughs> Close sighted pipe rifle with a bayonet. I'm just going to scrap all this stuff. Alright, so we can bump this up to a powerful receiver. Go with a long barrel. Short stock? No, we'll do the full stock. Magazine. We can do medium magazine. Sights, we'll do glow sights. And we can't do anything else, but that looks like a good ass rifle to me, man. All right, where you at? I heard you, Mama Murphy. Mama Murphy, I heard you. Where are you? <laughs> Things are tough now. I heard Mama Murphy talking, man. Where is she? Obviously around here because I was just hearing her talk. <laughs> where oh where? Huh. Dude, like for real, where the hell is she? She was just talking. Stuff we can uh, 
There we go. Hmm. Where, oh, where is Mama Murphy? I'm not talking to you. Oh, let's try sleeping for a little while to see if uh, she pops up somewhere. Take a long time sleeping. Like a really long time. Damn, man. There we go. I feel rested. Yay. Now where's Mama Murphy? You're not Mama Murphy. You keep your mouth shut about this place. Can't trust anyone. Who the f are you talking to like that? And you're not Mama Murphy. Oh my gosh. I can't think of any other spot where she would be at. There's no other beds. There's no other areas for her to be hiding. So she's not sleeping, obviously. She's not up here. Gotcha. <laughs> Wherever the fuck you were hiding. I used to be quite the adventurer when I was younger. Now these old bones just can't keep up. Hey. About that jet we talked about, kid. Here. One hit of jet. You did good. Now, let me ride the hide where the site wants to take me. <laughs> You're looking for a man. He can help you, but he ain't gonna be the man you expect. He's somewhere deep, dark, mm -hmm. surrounded by folks with nothing but cruel intentions. But there's an echo, something in the past that can help you. When you meet the fat man and the angry woman, Tell them to remember the quarry and Lily June on the rocks, and they'll let you and your friend pass. Phew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. Mama Murphy. Got a favor to ask you, kid. There you we know go. It's Come on. Silly. But well, yeah, pretty much when we talk, when we go find Nick, he's being held by uh, mobsters, and we use we say that, and uh, they let us go. Mama Murphy's chair. We're just gonna keep her right here out in the open, where everybody can see her. There we go. job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. Mama Murphy. You need to sit down, kid. Alright, you go sit down then. Got a little cooking station. And... Hey. Get... Who are you haying like that? What? Um, yeah. Oh, you, you said hey to me, bitch. Fine. But uh, we're going to call that a stream. Uh, we... We didn't do too, too much. We did some exploring. We found out who can help us. And then in the next stream, or next time we play Fallout, we'll go rescue Nick. And we'll see if he can't help us out with finding our son. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys again tomorrow.